What's up, YouTube? I'm the nice one, and today is Friday. At least that's the day I'm recording this. And I'm coming at you with another tutorial video. This time we're making a villager hunter type character. This is basically part one where we make a base model, and then later on we'll add details to flesh out the character. But moving forward, I'll be using these base models as a starting point for my future videos. That way I don't really have to recreate the wheel every time. This year's been a bit tough, but I'll post the files online at CG Trader, and you guys can download them there if you want to support my stuff, but don't have the time to watch the full video. Any kind of support always helps, so honestly, I really appreciate it. But if you do have some time, you can just follow along here with me and uh, save a few dollars. I always say if you got the opportunity, take the time and try and learn something new. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I have my Maya open. Uh, the first thing I always do is create a poly primitive. I like to start with a cube and you know, let's shift this up a tiny bit. There we go, kind of like that. And then go into edge. Make sure your symmetry is off. Uh, select this edge, go control, right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split to create an edge loop right here. I'll do the same thing here, Q to deselect do the same thing control right click uh, to edge ring and split and now you got a divided cube which is going to make the base of the body so let's keep going go to face select select these ones you know let's shift these up a tiny bit yeah let's bring this up a tiny bit yeah okay and then select these ones and you know i'm gonna scale it down yeah i like that scale that down a tiny bit and then we'll go back to edge, select this edge and go to edge ring and to edge split here. And I'm gonna actually do go space and I believe it's edge mesh, no, sorry, mesh tools, slide edge. And with my middle mouse button, I'm gonna slide it to about, I want it probably here because I think that's where the character's waist is gonna be. And then let's scale that down a tiny bit. Okay, cool. Let's go to vertex, click this on top, bring it up. Oh, you know what, actually? Q, go edge, Q to deselect, right click to edge ring and split. Do the same thing here, to edge ring and split. Q to deselect. Okay, at this point, I think we can turn on symmetry. So we'll go, I believe it was object Y. No, that's not it. Symmetry object X, no, object Z. There we go. Yeah, perfect. There we go. So you want to turn up object Z symmetry. That way you're div like you're working on both sides of the of the center plane uh, of the center edge uh, at the same time. So it basically cuts your time down in half. I feel like whenever I give a tip, that's always the tip I give. Uh, make sure you're working with your symmetry um, wherever possible to just cut on to save on time. Anyway, I'm going to add a few more edge loops right here and maybe one more like right here. Yeah, there we go, that looks okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna select these edges and let's go, let's lift this up a tiny bit. Oh, you know what? Let's select this one as well. So shift select uh, and then W to lift. Yeah. Okay, cool, 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 I like that. And then we'll go here, here, and here. Let's round, let's, basically what I'm doing now is rounding out the body to make more of a cylindrical figure. Because uh, obviously no one's built like a brick. Um, at least no one I've met. I don't know if you guys <laughs> met someone like that or go to the gym like crazy. Uh, let's bring this up here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's all right. It's okay for now. We'll tweak it in the future. But for now, at the moment, I'm just trying to get like a rough, 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 um, <clears throat> like rough shape of the body that I want to create. Uh, nothing too detailed yet because we'll be adding details in the future and then let's go face select this and then actually let's rotate this along the Z there we go or along the forgive me yeah along the Z axis lift it up because this section right here <coughs> excuse me sorry this section right here is going to make the uh, it's gonna be the neck for me so why don't we also scale it up a tiny bit? Make a neck a little bit bigger. Okay, great. And vertex, oh no. Vertex, uh, again, what I'm doing here is just rounding out the shape so that it looks a little more 
natural edge let's 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 twist this along the y axis and then maybe bring it out along the x yeah perfect and then let's twist this along the y axis and then yeah okay cool sweet and then you know what let's bring it up in a bit because it doesn't this person doesn't need to have such a barrel chest you know it doesn't have to be too exaggerated we can have some modesty here you know it doesn't have to be crazy nope that's not what i want to do i want to shift this out a bit more so obviously it's a bit rounded belly because he's not going to have washboard abs as unlike many other anime protagonists <laughs> anyway yeah that's basic this is what i'm basically doing right now um, you'll find that as I do these kind of walkthroughs, a lot of what I'm doing is just a lot of kind of just not tr like trial and error, you know what I mean? Just kind of problem solving on the fly. It's not like I have, again, like I've said before, it's not like I have um, a blueprint of how to make this particular character. I'm just kind of coming it up, coming up with it along, uh, along the way as I go. Um, so I know that's not the most helpful, but it's just kind of my process. Uh, usually it's actually good to have like concept art that you can base off of and work from there. But today we're just kind of freestyling it. <clears throat> I'm hoping actually I'll, I can make this into a base model, which you guys can actually use in the future. I'll probably like post it online somewhere, uh, which you can get, uh, or maybe like, I'll maybe I'll sell it for like five bucks or something just to support the channel a little bit. Um, but I'll, obviously you guys will also have the opportunity to just kind of learn for yourselves and save the cash. And uh, frankly, it's always better to just learn something, you know? I always recommend taking the time, if you have it, to learn a new skill or develop develop yourself in a, in a particular area as opposed to spending the money because it's always easy to throw money at something. It's harder to take the time and actually learn it. Anyway, so I'm gonna select this area because I know I want that to be the shoulders. So I'm gonna click E, not E, sorry. Uh, there we go, Control E to extrude, and we'll pull this out a tiny bit. Perfect. Uh, then, you know what, let's scale these faces in. And let's pull it out a bit more, and then we'll twist it down like this, and maybe like that, like this, and like that. Twist it in like that, and then let's scale it in here. Oh, select, select, select. There we go, okay. And there I'm just shift selecting, obviously. I assume like a lot of you guys kind of already have an idea of the stuff that I'm doing here, so I hope I don't have to kind of, I'll try and take my take take it as slowly as I can. Just so that it's, uh, yeah, not obvious, but everyone is accounted for when we're working here. I wanna try and be as accessible as possible. For anyone who's beginner or like mid-level beginner, I'm sure if you're like working in uh, the industry, you probably know a lot of these things and you're fine. And uh, obviously you come here for my nice voice. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, okay, here we go. So there we go. I got a bit of a shoulder going on right now. Uh, yeah, I dig it. Yeah. Yeah, sure, that looks okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, let's go now. This is where it gets a little bit trickier. I want to try and make, uh, you know what, actually, we should probably round this out a tiny bit because these shoulders are way too broad for anyone, any normal type of human being. Uh, okay, let's round this out a tiny bit. There we go, hopefully, yep, yeah, my symmetry's on still. Amazing. And then let's bring this in, actually, so that it's not so jutting out too much. Okay, perfect. Uh, now I got, actually I see a, a vertex, a vertex overlapping, which is not what I want. Vertex, let's select this one. Let's go here. Amazing. Okay, cool. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Nice. Okay. So we'll continue. Uh, let's go face, select these faces. And then let's go control E again to extrude. And then we'll just make these tubular arms right here. 
Obviously, these don't look like arms. It looks like a weird... That kind of looks like a bow tie, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Anyway, we'll hit Q to accept that change. And then, nope. Deselect everything. Go to Face. Right-click Face. Select these faces. And then, you know what? Let's scale it in a tiny bit. Yes. Yeah, let's scale that in. So that it looks a little more tubular, like an actual arm. Uh, or at least the beginnings of an arm. There we go. Okay, perfect. There we go. Okay, amazing. So flatten that out a little bit. Now he's, now our little dude's got some arms going on, but obviously that looks a little weird, so we got to fix that. Um, so we'll go to Edge, and then we'll actually add an edge loop right around here. Nope, that's not where I want it. I want an edge loop right here. There we go, perfect. Okay. So let's select this, make sure both sides are selected. Go Mesh Tools, we'll go Slide Edge, and then Middle Mouse Button to slide it up right to the beginning of the shoulder. I mean, I guess I could have just selected this edge and then beveled, but here we are. Uh, we'll go Edge, and we'll lift this up a tiny bit. Or you know what, we can even just rotate it, and then lift. Yeah, that works a bit better. We'll do the same here. Basically what I'm trying to do now is we'll t basically what I'm trying to do now is round out the, the arms so that they feel a little more cylindrical and they're not too awkward. Actually, what might actually be easier is if I use the vertex points as a way of, yes, that works way better. There we go. Forgive me. Um, let's use vertex points instead to kind of round out these arms and then the reason i put this edge ring here is so that i can kind of give definition to where the shoulder will be um, obviously this isn't going to be like a perfectly anatomically correct <laughs> person uh we're all we're always work, working in low poly here or at least uh stylized there we go maybe not low poly but stylized is probably a better way of saying it uh yeah okay cool Damn, this guy's got like football shoulders. I don't know if that's what I want, but hey. Okay, there we go. See, I'm getting into that like, I'm sure all of you do the same thing where you're making a character model and then you see these little things that you want to fix. So you get you start getting like really finicky about it. And like you start trying to tweak it and make sure it's like good. But I, I always end up spending way too much time doing stuff like that, you know, like especially in this phase where you're just kind of making a basic model. Um, and sometimes the point isn't necessarily to make it perfect right away, right? Like it's always iterative and kind of you work through and see what works, what doesn't work. So sometimes it's better to let things be and then just trust the process and trust that you will get to a point where it looks cleaner. Uh, it doesn't always have to be immediately. Anyway. Uh, let's bring these two vertex, let's bring these three, four actually, down to round it out a tiny bit. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's what I want it to look like. That's how I want it to look so far. This is going to be, I think, I need to bring that in a tiny bit more because it's, oh, you know what? I'll do the opposite. Let's go face. We'll select this, 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 this. And then we'll, we'll, we will bring it out a bit more because maybe rotate it. There we go. And then that will be the extent of my character's arms. Yeah, let's, let's do that. For and then let's scale it down. So it's flattened and then rotate again. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now we got flat tubular arm here. Basically, this area is going to be his wrist, and then I'm going to go edge, select this edge, uh, control, right click, two edge ring, utilities, two edge ring, and split. Uh, do the same thing twice. Sometimes I have to do it twice because my symmetry will, th will actually throw the edge ring on this side, and so I do it twice so that it's on both. Make sure you double click to select both edges. Let's bring this in. Yeah, perfect. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, cool. I'm digging it. I'm digging it so far. Now we'll bring it out. Yeah, okay, cool. There we go. So there's his kind of crook of his elbow. Elbow. Really rough, obviously. We don't really have too much 
too much detail going on there, but we'll add more as we go along. Uh, I'm gonna add a few more edge loops right here. Again, I could, I guess I could just bevel this, but here we are. Um, let's go space, mesh tools, edge slide. And then we'll slide, oh, so sorry, select the edge, go space, mesh tools, slide edge. Ah, it's not working. Mesh tools, slide edge, there we go. And then let's slide it right about here. Yeah, okay, cool. And we'll do the same thing right here. Uh, right click, two edge ring utilities, two edge ring and split. Right click, two edge ring utility, two edge ring and split. Deselect, select them both. Space, mesh tools, slide edge. And then let's bring that right here. Yeah, that's good. Because this area, the joints, usually at the joints, you want to have a couple of edge loops so that it deforms well, or it deforms a little more properly when, you, uh, when you're making your character. Uh, so I usually like to just place that where his elbows are, so I also know proportions a bit better. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, so maybe let's try and make this person's hands for now. Uh, let's do the, we'll do the mitten style for now. Um, so we'll go Control E to extrude. There we go. And then uh, Q, or oh, sorry, R, nope. I want R is scale, which is what I want, but unfortunately I'm scaling the entire model right there. So we'll go R, scale this these hands down. Yes, perfect. Do this, maybe bring it up and out like this. We'll round it out in a second, but right now we're just trying to get the general shape that we like. Okay, cool. And then we'll actually add an edge loop right here. Add an edge loop, perfect. So, whoop, nope. Pause. Restart. There we go, okay, cool. Um, and then what we'll do is, nope, oh, perspective view. Perspective view. Uh, I want to add a edge loop right here. So control, two edge ring and split, two edge ring and split, deselect, select the ring, W, Let's uh, shift it up a tiny bit, give the hands a bit of that curvature. And then you know what, since this loop is already here, we'll use this to round out, we'll use this to round out the fingers so that they're not too like awkwardly flattened. Let's do this, wonderful. Okay, cool. Yeah, sweet. I guess that could work for now. Yeah, okay. And then we'll go vertex, maybe like bring this out a bit. Bring this out a bit. Not too, too weird. Yeah, okay, cool. So we got a bit of a hand going on right now. I want to select these and shift these up a tiny bit. Yes, amazing. Amazing, awesome, okay. Okay, uh, you know what I'll actually do? Um, I'll add an edge loop right here. 
there we go. And make sure you select both edges, go mesh, mesh tools, slide edge. And we'll slide it right, right about here. That's good. And then what we'll do is actually take, nope, we'll take this edge loop in to represent the wrist. There we go. Okay, great. There we go. We got a bit of a low poly wrist going on right here. Uh, okay, let's go vertex. And let's go shading. We'll go wire for now. So select these and maybe some of, give me some of this, these. I'm making sure I select all the right vertices. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Perspective. Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is because I actually want to rotate these all down to twist the hand so that's in a little bit of a more natural position relative to the rest of the arm. Okay, cool. So let's turn off the wire shading and go back to smooth shading for all. And uh, let's do this. Let's bring these in actually. Again, now we're, I'm getting back into that thing where we try to tweak it a bit so it looks a little more how we want it to look um, as opposed to letting it be for now and then coming back to it when you get to that stage. But hey, just bear with me while I do this. Oh, you know what? I'll leave this actually because I know that this is where I want the thumb to be. So with that said, let's create the thumb. Edge ring split, edge ring split. Oh, nope, nope. I want an edge ring right here. There we go. And what will become the thumb, I'm going to say, is these four faces right here. So let's deselect. Go face select. It's like this, this, and this, and this. Make sure it's selected on both sides. All right, cool. Ooh, make sure you don't accidentally select other faces. See what I mean? Because if you have other faces selected and you don't realize, and then you extrude, now you're going to create like awkward uh, polygons, unnecessary polygons. So just make sure make sure you double check that. I've had that problem before and I didn't realize until like way later and that really screwed me over. So just so that you guys don't make that same mistake. Anyway, let's go control E and actually there it is. We'll bring this out a tiny bit. Yes, cool, 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 cool. Uh, do that, Q to enable, deselect. Select the faces to make sure the change is kept and we're not going to model the entire body. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll bring this in a tiny bit just so that it doesn't look like a weird deformed thumb. Ah, yeah, I'm liking it. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. Amazing. Yeah, okay, cool. There we go. So he's got a bit of a mitten hand going on right now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we'll rotate this so it looks a little more in line with what we're going for. And then we'll actually go into vertex mode and we'll select this, go like that, like this, like that, like this, and like that, like this, and like that. Okay, awesome. Yes, okay, cool, I'm liking it. I'm digging it, I'm digging it so far. And you know what? We'll just pull out this vertex so it's more of a pointed shape. Pointed thumb, I guess. Ah, no, I don't like that, actually. I know what to do. We'll go face, select this, and then we'll extrude one more time. Just a tiny bit. Q to select. And then select all the faces again, R to scale. There we go. Yeah, okay, cool. There we go. And we also give our thumb a second joint. Uh, if you ever, when, when you look at your hands, you'll notice that you're, you actually have multiple joints in your hand. And so, like I said, with the elbow, it's nice to have, if you, when you plan to do like proper fingers, which is probably harder, one of the harder things to model, um, you wanna make sure you have edge loops at the joints so that they deform properly. So this will just help me in the future. Uh, let's go, not edit mesh, mesh tools, target, edge, slide edge. 
Let's slide this back a tiny bit. So that doesn't look too weird. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Perfect. There you go. So we got a nice little hand going on right now. And uh, yeah, looks like we're in good shape so far. So far, so good. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, I'm going to go face select, select these ones. And oh, actually, before I do that, uh, I'm going to go edge, select this edge. Let's go two edge ring, two edge ring and split. Let's do the same thing here. Oh, not that. Perfect. Okay. The reason I do that is because I want these faces right here to actually represent like the crotch area because obviously your legs jut out and so you need to account for the space between. Uh, if that makes any sense? Uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. Let's go face. We'll go here. Select these. Uh, let's bring this down a tiny bit. Oh no, you know what? We'll extrude. Extrude, down, enable, W, oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. I had wrong faces. I didn't have all the correct faces selected. And so when I extruded, it created unnecessary polys and shapes, which is awkward. So let's deselect that. Let's go shading wire to make sure everything is okay. Let's go shading, smooth shading for all. Okay, now we can extrude, go E. Bring this down, Q to select. Okay, cool. So this that's going to be his, yeah, right around his waist, hip waist area. And then we'll rotate this along the X axis. Keep rotating it. Maybe we'll scale it in a tad. Yeah, okay, cool. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, that's looking a little too flat for my liking, to be honest with you. So what we'll do is we'll go edge, we'll bring these in. Oh, no. Let's bring all of these in. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, I see what I did here. Let's look at the wire for a second. Okay, I believe I actually created unnecessary faces. Vertex. Well, it was shading, smooth shading for all. Hmm, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see. So you know what, let's go back for a second. Let me undo this. Oh, I know what happened. Okay, I think I know what happened here. When I originally made that in incorrect, um, when I originally made that incorrect uh, extrude, uh, I selected the wrong faces and I extruded and then pulled down. What ended up happening was that I only undid until the pull down area, not the actual extrude. And so because I did that, it left basically this plane duplicated in the same area and I didn't realize. And so now we had overlapping polygons and as much as possible, you wanna try and avoid that. Anyway, okay, so we're back to this state. So we'll go edge, edge ring and split, and then we'll go face. You know what, we can even try and do this. We could probably try and extrude from here and then fix later. No, you know what, we'll do what I like to do, uh, which is go extrude. And uh, let's double check the shading. Okay, cool. So shading for all. Let's go extrude, pull this down. Q to select, rotate. And then we'll scale it in a tiny bit, we'll lift it up. There we go. Okay, and then we'll go edge. And then we'll go, we'll actually bring these edges in a tiny bit. And then probably this vertex needs to go in more, more so, so that it still rounds out the shape. We'll go edge, select maybe these edges right here. Not this one, 
and then let's bring this up forward a tad, a smidge, and then we'll bring this out and this out. There we go. Okay, cool. I'm digging it so far. Yeah, I'm liking that so far. And uh, of course, his torso is a little too, it's a little big, or his upper body is looking a little disproportionate for what will become this person's legs. So first, we'll scale out the waist, the hips, a bit more, and then we'll go vertex, shading, wire, and just select all of those, and then lift this up here. Yeah, that's a lot. That looks a bit better. Shading, smooth shading. There we go. Yeah, that looks a lot better to me. Okay, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So we'll go face, select these ones. Okay, and then we'll go control E to extrude and pull these out. Oh, there we go. See, it happened again. I misselected the wrong face, so let's undo. But at this point, the extrude is already done, so we have to do undo one more time to make sure that we don't have the extrude in place. Okay. So let's reselect those crop properly. This one, this one, this one, this one. And then we'll go shading, wire to make sure we're covered. All right, shading, smooth shading for all, perfect. We'll click Control E to extrude these out. There we go, cool, cool, cool. All right, so this guy, we got a bit of a Vitruvian person going on right now. Uh, I'm not sure if Michelangelo would be proud, but I'm pretty happy where we're at so far. Now let's extrude this down a little bit more, make sure he's over six feet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, okay, cool. This is looking good so far. Um, but it looks like we got some awkward overlapping polys, which is not good. So we'll go wire and let's see how we can fix that a bit. Let's go face, nope. That's not the one I want. I want to make sure I get the ones that are overlapping awkwardly. So we'll go this one, this one, and this one. Rotate that. And then we'll maybe scale it out. There we go. Shading, smooth shading for all. There we go. Okay. Just so that we try and avoid as much rotate overlapping polys as possible. But we'll fix it. We'll come and fix it as we go along. Vertex, let's bring these in a tiny bit. Let's bring these in. These in. Okay. Now let's round out the let's round out these legs a bit more so it looks a little more proper. What I want to try and do now, actually. Uh, what I'll do here is go to my modeling tools, go to vertex, and I'll use this tool called, where is it? Uh, target weld, here we go. And I'll target weld each of these to that gap we had made in the center so that, there we go, there we go. So now we have kind of a natural split. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, and then we'll go edge. We'll go bring this in, bring this in, we'll bring this in. Obviously, I might have to tweak that in the future, but we will tackle that as we come along. Come here, bring this in. Yes, yes, okay, cool. Then maybe bring these, nope. Bring this in a bit more. There we go, yeah, okay, cool. And then we'll go edge. Let's uh, round these legs out a tiny bit so that they look more tubular uh, and less Lego block man style. I mean, uh, unless of course that's the look you're trying to go for which recently has become very successful. And I'm quite, sorry if I'm gonna go on a tangent here, but I'm quite happy about that because I grew up, I actually, I'm, I'm sure like many of you, grew up with Legos. And I like to attribute a lot of the kind of, my creative, I don't like to say creative, but my imagination, uh, I like to attribute it to Lego. I like to think that the, they had a big part in that. 
I would use I used to build like a bunch of bases and uh, all kinds of random stuff, um, not necessarily following the instructions. Uh, maybe I'd follow the instructions to build the thing on the picture at first, but then slowly over time it would just be me kind of making my own things. And I was always very proud of that as a kid. Anyway, maybe that's influenced um, some of this right now. So some of you psych majors can <laughs> tell me what that all means uh, because you are far smarter than I am. We'll bring this in. Amazing. Amazing. Let's jump this out a tiny bit more. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, I dig it. I like it. I'm liking it so far. Right now, I'm just trying to fix the the tube a little bit so that it looks a little more a little more proportion, I guess. Just kind of like how I want it to be, basically. Nothing too doesn't look too crazy. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Awesome possum. So looks like we got a bit of a body going on right here. Uh, so let's add some loops where we want the knees. Two entering and split, and then another one right here. Another one right here. Ooh, I gotta make sure that you do the same for both sides. Uh, for, in order for the symmetry to catch it, it has to literally be on the opposite end. Because if this was if this edge was slightly down, symmetry actually wouldn't catch it. Um, so make sure you're kind of careful about that kind of stuff. Slide edge, let's slide it down to right about here where we know what the knee will likely be. Mm, yeah, that's good. And then do the same thing here. Slide edge, let's bring it up to about, yeah, perfect. Okay, awesome. Awesome possum, I like it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we'll continue, uh, let's go face. And now we'll just make like really basic legs, really basic feet. Uh, so we'll do that by going edge and then select this edge, right click, edge select, smooth, make an edge loop, select it and go mesh tools, slide edge, middle mouse button to bring it down to about here, I think is nice. Then face, let's select these front face, front forward faces. And then we'll go control E to extrude and pull that out just a tiny bit. Q to enable, R to scale. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Make sure you select the correct faces, R to scale. There we go. It's looking a little odd, but we'll tweak it as we go along. Scale that. There we go. Bring it up. Awesome. Then, you know, let's select here. Let's see if the scaling tool here will actually fix up. Yes, perfect. That helped a lot. Let's go these ones, and then we'll scale this down as well to also make it a little more flat. Okay, now we got some Daffy Duck feet going on. Um, I know that's not exactly what you're wanting, but don't worry, we will actually be able to fix that. Or we'll tweak it a little bit so that's a little cleaner. But right now I'm just trying to get my planes all parallel so it looks like your character's sitting on the, f sitting, like standing front legged, front facing. We'll do this, maybe rotate a little bit. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, sweet. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. That looks a little awkward in my opinion. So what we'll do is select this, bring it in, like this, bring it in. Maybe bring, select this, bring this in, because that will likely represent kind of your heel, the heel of your foot. Yeah. Nope. That one. Let's bring this one in. Okay, great. Edge. Uh, now let's start kind of making this foot look a little more natural. 
as opposed to the weird Daffy Duck feet we got going. We'll bring this up. Hey, bring this forward. Uh, and then we'll bring this out. Bring this down. Nope. Bring this one down. This one, bring this one down as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like it. It's a little bit better. Maybe bring that out and maybe even scale it in a tiny bit so it rounds out a bit more naturally. Go to vertex, maybe position that a bit better. Yeah, okay, cool. So now we got a bit of a feet. Okay, great. Okay, great. We got a bit of a base model character going on here. Obviously, I think what we could do is um, probably shape out the legs a bit more. So for example, Maybe you can bring this in, you can bring this up. No, I need to actually use, let's go mesh tools, slide edge. We'll bring this up here, scale that up. We'll do the same thing, mesh tools, slide edge, slide edge, that, maybe scale it up. And then let's select these loops right here where this person's ankle is and maybe tone that in a bit so that it makes more of a natural kind of looking calf thing going here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, amazing. Awesome. Oh, we're doing such a, we're doing all right so far. We're doing all right. We got maybe a few more pieces to go, and then we got a base model, and then we can actually, we'll start adding kind of character clothing to it, which I know is the part y'all are interested in. But uh, you gotta start small and kind of move your way up from there. Right now, I'm just kind of tweaking the shape, obviously, so that it looks a little more how I want it to be. Awesome. Awesome possum. Okay, we got a. We got this nice looking uh, headless man going on right now, or headless person. Uh, yeah, I think that's not too bad so far. Um, you could keep it low poly look like this, or you can kind of do, um, what's it called? Uh, yeah, you know what, let's keep it low poly for the moment. So what you could do actually, so what you actually could do is you could leave it low poly like this, or you can go into press three and enable smooth finish. And here you'll see how your character looks when you apply the subdivide feature in Maya. Um, and you can actually tweak your kind of model from there so that if you're going for that more organic kind of look, uh, more of like a natural natural shapes, uh, smoother um, rounding, I guess. Yeah, you could do that here. And uh, I usually do this to most of my models. I find it very helpful. Um, but it really depends on the kind of style you're going for, right? So right now I actually have that smoothing feature enabled. So I'm just kind of going around maybe adding a little bit of detail here and there in terms of scaling how I want the arms to look to give them maybe some a little more muscle musculature, a little more muscle detail. Go. Awesome. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, that looks okay. So yeah, three, three to enable the smooth feature, one to go back to your typical poly, typical low poly look. And then, uh, yeah, so let's continue from here. We'll go, let's select these faces and then we will, ooh, 
that looks like it might be kind of an awkward neck. So instead, I'll bring this in a tiny bit. I'll bring this in a tiny bit. And then let's select these and actually rotate them along the y-axis. And do the same thing here, rotate along the y-axis. Or sorry, the x-axis, my apologies. Let's rotate, rotate this along that axis, and then let's rotate this as well. Okay, great. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now we have a bit more of a natural neck area coming. So Q to enable, let's go Control E to extrude, and we'll extrude a small neck here. And then actually I'll rotate this along the Z like that. Maybe scale it in a tiny bit. Yeah, okay, cool. That's looking okay. Yeah, okay, great. Amazing. Nice, okay. We got a bit of a neck for this dude now. So if you want to try and make a head, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So deselect your original model. Let's go space, create, poly primitives. We'll go with a cube. Um, bring it up and then let's proportion this head yeah I think that looks big enough <laughs> you know me I'm always about that kind of chibi cuter chibi stylized look so we'll continue with that for now so let's bring this up a tiny bit uh, let's go edge right click nope right click edge select this edge edge ring utilities to edge ring and split do the same thing here Awesome. And so what we'll do now is we'll start making a very rough shape of the head that we like. So rounding it out, making it a little more circular. Maybe we'll add an edge loop right here. And then, because I know this, I probably want it to be the nose eventually at some point. So we'll maybe jut that out a tiny bit. Bring this up. Maybe bring these vertex C's in. Maybe bring this down. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Then we'll bring these back. We'll do the same thing here. Maybe I'll work in vertex mode for a little bit just to kind of tweak out, tweak out this head so that it doesn't look too oddly disproportionate. So excuse me while I kind of, while I do that, maybe I'll like time lapse this, like speed it up. Uh, Cause we're actually getting kind of long here when it comes to making this base model. I'm sure. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah, sure. I like that. Maybe bring this in. Maybe bring these in. Maybe bring this in. Wonderful, wonderful, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe bring this, sorry, I'm just kinda fixing out this person's chin, how I want it to be. <laughs> nice, got like a weird little bucket head. Maybe I'll scale it down a tiny bit. Make it a little more proportionate. And there we go. So what we'll do is tweak this, bring it down like that. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. All right, now let's work in, let's actually work in smoothing because I think this might help a little bit. So we will add a edge loop right here and then maybe add, maybe let's go bridge, no. Not extrude, Oop, not extrude. I want to target weld, there we go. Vertex. Bring this out, bring this down. Let's go edge, and then we'll add a, nope, that's not it. We want edge ring, two edge ring and split. Two edge ring and split. And then we'll bring these down a tiny bit.
Yes. Okay, cool. So vertex, let's bring these two down to kind of give them kind of an Arthur kind of face. Probably when you look at the um, when you look at the uh, the final um, the low poly version of this, it's going to look kind of odd. Um, so forgive me on that one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go target weld. Let me weld these ones. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Let me bring these out. Maybe bring these forward. Give them some cheeks. In, in, forward. Okay, great. Okay, nice. Yeah, okay, cool. So we got a bit of a kind of a chubby Ninja Turtle head going on right here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I dig it. Basically, at this point, um, you can kind of tweak it how you want it to be, right? Like whether or not you want it to be more rounded, kind of give them more of a more of a baby face, I guess. Or you can bring it in here and kind of give them more of sharper angular features. Like that it, it's really entirely up to you in terms of what you're trying to go for. So this is the kind of part where I say you always end up just. You're just basically making what you envision, how you want to envision your character. And so it's just a lot of problem solving, to be honest with you. Problem solving, kind of testing, trying things out, seeing how they go. Yeah, a lot of molding, basically. Maybe I'll show you how to do a hair later. This will probably make more sense when I do that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Got a bit of a chibi head going on right now. Vertex. Let's build this. Move this up. Perhaps if we target weld these. No, that didn't work at all. No, that's not good. Okay. Yeah. See, I thought it would look freaking wild. Okay. Then we'll bring these up. Amazing. Yeah, OK, cool. I think that's all right. Yeah, that's all right for a basic head. Sure. Drop that in there. Amazing. Maybe we'll scale this up. Can I squish it a little bit? Maybe we could squish it in here. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then we got a we got a nice little head for our dude. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. There we go. Now we got a nice little base model which we can use to dress up and change in terms of the features, the clothing we want to, and make all kinds of different characters. And what I'm hoping to do actually is what I'd like to do in the future is basically use the same base model and. Uh, basically make different character clothing and armor pieces to put on top in order to differentiate like armor hair clothing all that kind of stuff to kind of differentiate kind of like how they do in anime where all their faces and stuff pretty much are the same shape it's just uh, what they wear and how they their style that kind of differentiates them and that way it saves time for me having to remake the same model obviously i'll re i'll make a new model depending on the type of character like for example if we're going to make a blocky barbarian or something i can't really use this um, so I'll probably make something new from scratch from there. But in the future, when I'm making new characters, NPCs and stuff, I'll, I'll use this um, base model, which you guys hopefully now can make for yourselves. And uh, we can go from there. Yeah, amazing. Okay. Thanks for your time. Uh, hope this was helpful. Stick out for part two, where I'm going to be making more clothing, armor, and hair for this character. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.